supplier is going to be a registered dealer and he is going to collect the tax amount from the buyer and later on he remit the tax to the government right so that is called forward charge mechanism in case one date of payment is not given because the payment is not yet made so date of payment is not available the earliest date is 23rd august 2022 that will be the time of supply of goods hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session on unit number 6 and session 3 on the topic time of supply yes dear students in the earlier session we discussed about what is the meaning of time of supply and we also solved a few problems based upon the time of supply with respect to forward charge mechanism and again with respect to goods and services so dear students in this particular session we are going to solve the problems with respect to computation of problems under time of supply under reverse charge mechanism so in the last class itself i have explained what is forward charge what is reverse charge and what is vouchers right so once again i will recall you about what is this reverse charge mechanism so in forward charge mechanism what will happen in forward charge mechanism supplier is going to be a registered dealer and he is going to collect the tax amount from the buyer and later on he remit the tax to the government right so that is called forward charge mechanism and while solving the problem under forward charge mechanism it is very important to know what and all the conditions we are supposed to look into so in reverse charge mechanism what is the procedure for what we call reverse charge for where the supplier is going to be a unregistered dealer the supplier is going to be a unregistered dealer who the supplier is a unregistered unregistered dealer so supplier is going to be a unregistered dealer so at that point time what supplier will do supplier collects only the cost of the product and the buyer the buyer so what the buyer will do this buyer pay the tax to the government so buyer pay tax so in forward charge mechanism the supplier remit the tax to the government but here in reverse charge mechanism supplier is going to be a unregistered dealer and he will not be having any rights to collect the tax from the buyer so what buyer will do buyer pay only the cost of the product to the supplier and later on this buyer is going to remit the tax to the government so what he will do he remit the tax to the government so this process is called reverse charge mechanism this process is called reverse charge mechanism so while solving the problem under reverse charge mechanism with respect to supply of goods you are supposed to look into these three informations so which are those dates the dates are date of receipt date of payment 31st day from the date of invoice 31st day from the date of invoice so here what will happen you are going to receive the receipt so when you receive the receipt okay when you received the receipt and when the payment is made when you make the payment and 31st day of invoice so when you raise the invoice from that date 31st day in these three dates the earliest of the following is going to be your time of supply the earliest date is going to be your time of supply of time of supply of goods supply of goods under what under reverse charge mechanism that is rcm reverse charge mechanism fcm forward charge mechanism so under reverse charge mechanism for supply of goods what and all the dates we will look into we will look into date of receipt date of payment 31st day from the date of invoice in these three the earliest date is going to be your time of 
supply. So these are the conditions. So now let us solve one problem with respect to this. So Mr. Anil, a registered dealer received goods from Mr. B, an unregistered dealer. Okay, Mr. B is a Mr. Sunil. So Mr. Sunil issues invoice. Mr. Sunil issues invoice on 1st July 2022. So here Mr. Anil, a registered dealer received goods. He is, he is a registered dealer, the receiver. He received goods and Mr. Sunil, he issued invoice on 1st July 2022. So now determine time of supply of goods in following cases. So Mr. Anil received goods on 15th July 2022 and payment of which is not made yet. Payment of which is not made yet. Next, in case B, Mr. Anil received goods on 3rd August and made payment on the same on 4th August. So Anil received the goods on 3rd August and he made the payment on 4th August. In case C, Anil made payment on 8th July and received goods on the same date. Payment is made on 8th July and received the goods on the same date that is 8th July. Next, Mr. Anil received goods on 10th July and made payment on the same on 9th July. So we have four different cases. Okay, we are solved, we are supposed to solve the problem accordingly. So first case one, case one. So 15th July will be the time of supply. How, how to find out the time of supply based on the earliest of the following. So receipt of goods. When you wrote the receipt, the receipt was wrote by Mr. Anil on 15th July. 15th July 2022. So 15th July 2022 is it receipt of goods. Date of payment. Yes. In case one, date of payment is not given because the payment is not yet made. So date of payment is not available. Next, 30 days from the date of invoice. So when the invoice is issued by Mr. Sunil, the invoice was issued by Mr. Sunil on 1st July 2022 on 1st July 2022. So 30 days from that date. So it is 30th July 2022. 30 days from that date is 30th July 2022. You can take 30th day or 31st day. So in these two, in these two, now which is earliest date? Obviously 15th July. So 15th July 2022 will be our time of supply of goods. Case B. Okay, case B date of receipt of goods. So what is the receipt of goods? It is 3rd August 2022. 3rd August 2022. So date of payment. So when is the date of payment? It is on 4th August 2022. 4th August 2022. 30 days from the date of invoice. Obviously it is 30th July 2022. Okay, 30th July 2022. So in these three, which is the earliest date? Obviously, 30th July 2022 is the earliest date. So that date will be the time of supply of goods. Next, moving on to case C. In case C, receipt of goods is 8th July. 8th July. And the date of payment is also the same date. That is 8th July. Okay. Now, 30 days from the date of invoice, same date. That is 30th July. So in these three, which is the earliest date? Obviously, 8th July 2022. You can take receipt of goods as earliest date or date of payment as earliest date because both are same. So 8th July 2022 will be the time of supply of goods. Next, case D. So in case D, receipt of goods, the date is 10th July 2022. Date of payment, 9th July 2022. 30 days, same obviously you'll get 30th July 2022. So in this three, which is the earliest date, that is 9th July 2022. 9th July, because that is the earliest date here in this three. So 9th July 2022 will be the time of supply of goods. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problem.
with respect to time of supply of goods under reverse charge mechanism. So now let us move on to the second problem. In second problem, Mr. Rama, a registered dealer, received goods from Mr. Lakshmana. And unregistered dealer, Mr. Lakshmana is an unregistered dealer. So Mr. Lakshmana issues invoice on 15th September 2022. Now determine time of supply of goods in following cases. So how many cases we have? Totally we have three cases. So in first case, Mr. Rama received goods on 20th September 2022, payment which is not made. In case B, Rama received goods on 23rd August 2022 and made payment on the date, on the date of same date that is 28th August 2022. So Rama received goods on 23rd August 2022 and Payment for the same made on 28th August 2022. Case 3, Rama made payment on 12th September and received goods on the same, on same date. Okay, received the goods on the same date. The payment is made on 12th September and the goods were also received on the same date that is 12th September 2022. So by using this information, you are supposed to find out the time of supply of goods with respect to forward charge mechanism. So now in case one, date of receipt, date of receipt of goods. So when is the date of receipt of goods? So receipt of goods is nothing but when the goods received, on what date goods received by the buyer, that date will be your date of receipt. So when goods is received in case one, it is received on 20th September 2022. So 20th September 2022 is your receipt of goods. That is date of receipt of goods. Date of payment is not given. Date of payment is not given. So not available. 30 days from the date of invoice. 30 days or 31st day of date of invoice. So when the you know invoice is issued by the Lakshman, it is issued on 15th September. From that calculate 30 days you get 15th October 2022. 30 days or the 31st day is 15th October 2022. In these two, which is the earliest date? The earliest date is 20th September 2022. That will be your time of supply of goods. Case B. Case B, receipt of goods. So when the goods received in case B, goods received on 23rd August. So date of receipt of goods, 23rd August. Date of payment is when? Date of payment is 28th August, right? So date of payment, 28th August. 30 days from the date of invoice, as same as the first case, it is 15th October 2022. In these three, which is the earliest date? The earliest date is 23rd August 2022, that will be the time of supply of goods in case B. Case C, so receipt of goods is on 12th September and the payment is also made on the same date that is on 12th September 2022. 30 days from the date of invoice is what date? It is 15th October 2022. So invoice is issued on 15th September 2022. If you compute 30 days from that date, you will get 15th October 2022. So in these three dates, which is the earliest date, that is 12th September 2022. Either the receipt of goods or date of payment, both are same. So 12th September 2022 will be the time of supply of goods under reverse charge mechanism. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem with respect to supply of goods under reverse charge mechanism. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. So in the upcoming session, I'm going to come up with few more new topics. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.